Hi everyone, it's Krista and welcome to my channel. Today is Mixed Media Frenzy and I am going to be doing this really cute, cool layout here of my littlest daughter. But first, this was the photo I was going to use, but I'm not going to use that one. That'll be on another layout. So what I'm doing is I am putting some clear gesso on my foundation paper by Vicki Booten. And I, what that does is it's just like a protective sealant on your paper and it kind of seals it so that none of your paints seep through or anything like that. And if you make a mistake, it's easy to wipe it up with a baby wipe or paper towel. So now in my hip kit club, I received these really cool little fringes. They were exclusive item and they were cut like with those scissors, you know, um, that you cut strips. And I decided to use that piece because we are scrap lifting that layout you see in the upper right hand corner and they actually have something some kind of piece stripe coming down on theirs as well but first I'm going to go in with my colors now I'm using green um these are um oh my god art philosophies by Prima I got these in a previous hip kit club kit um this first one is blush it's called blush it's a really vibrant pink now, I was trying to figure out how I was going to do this. Now, I wanted to water the pink down a little bit. That was the first thing. So I had to make sure it was really liquidy so I could spread it the way they did on their thing. It looks like they used a straw. So that's what I did. And the first time I did it, not so good. But I am still trying. And the paint just didn't want to move. And this is with gesso on it. So it should have been flowing better. I don't think I was blowing hard enough. I don't know. But, um... I kept going and then it started moving around a little bit better. So then I decided to put a few more drops and I'm just going to keep going with it. And I did. And I did dab up the side there. But see how I could dab it up with my paper towel or my wipey? Really easy to do. So any mistakes that I made, it made it really easy. So then I decided that if you blew into the straw a little bit harder, it went a lot better. Hard and I mean, you had to really blow hard and fast on that one. And that does not sound right. Okay, anyway. So next we go in with the next color, which is turquoise. Now, I just got this in my February kit of Hip Kit Club. And this didn't spread as well because it's a creamy type of um, consistency. Um, it's, it's too creamy, the texture. So it wasn't watery enough. I should have sprayed water down, and I didn't. And then I just kept going with it. But it's okay because it's not supposed to be perfect, right? So I'm not going to get it exactly like theirs. But um, this was fun. <laughs> I felt like a little kid doing this. So then I come in with this color. This is yellow. I like this yellow. It's a honey. It's called honey. It's super pretty. And this one really went for it. Look at that. See, it definitely spread a lot better. So then I decided to go up top again with the blush. And I just wanted to make sure I got around where my photo was going to be. And then um, it started working a little bit better once I got used to it. Um, but I wasn't going to start over. So when I was looking at this, I was like, this is so messy. This is so not my technique, right? I'm used to like doing the packaging technique and, you know, dabbing it up, you know, if I didn't like it. And you can't really dab up with this because you want to have those lines like they have. So it was a little bit more difficult and a little more challenging, but I really challenge you guys to try it because it was fun. <laughs> it was super fun. So then I came with this photo. Now tell me that this photo of my daughter does not fit this layout perfectly. Look at her face. How cute is that? This was her birthday and this was when she was turning four. She was three, turning four. And she had a blue cake <laughs> that had blue icing obviously and look at that face so so cute so I was like she has such a messy face this is a messy background the blue was like so good like on her face you know so I was like that is the perfect photo so that's why I swiped it out for this one because I just thought it went so well with this background so there we go that's the photo so now I'm going to come in with some of my old stuff that's in my stash. This is a Dear Lizzie collection. It's all about birthday. And these are card st uh, stock stickers, card stock stickers, and um, chipboard stickers, I should say, not card stock. What am I thinking? So, and there was a yummy on there and these were the perfect colors. So I said, that's perfect. So that will be my title. 
And then on the side of there, as you see, they have a lot of labels and sayings and stuff. So I decided to come up with a couple of the chipboard ones that said, happy day. This is my fave. Wow. And um, a, wo a wolia or whatever. I don't even know how you say that. And then I had this um, that was um, from Paper Studio. I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. And one says eat cake. They're like three-dimensional stickers. And one says make a wish with the candles. And then I came in with that one that says let it shine. And then this one with the balloons with different sayings on them. I thought this was super, super cute. And all the colors were so vibrant on here. I thought they went perfectly with the photo and the background. So I'm glad I was able to find this stuff in my stash because this layout actually had me very, very stumped. I'm telling you. And I usually just doesn't take, I mean... It takes a lot for me to really get stumped, but this one really stumped me. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with this one, but it all worked out. So, like I said, you just keep going with it. If you have to change your photo, change the photo out. You know, go with it and just, you know what you need to use to make your layouts look really cool. So, I'm just fluffing up that fringe on the end of that paper. And I was really lucky I had those too because those are super cool. And now I'm just gluing everything down. And then on the left-hand side, you'll see another one. I have these. I've had these for so long in my stash. Um, I got them from Hobby Lobby. They're paper studio. And they're fabric, like um, ribbon, but you can stick them down. They have, they have um, stuff on them to stick them down. So I decided I'm going to come in with those too, which you will see in a minute. Because I didn't want to put more sayings. I personally am not a label person. I don't like using labels. I have so many labels. I should probably gift them to somebody because I do not use labels. I don't know why I just don't use them. Um, so I came in with this one and I put this one and I'm just going to kind of put them in between each one of these. And I thought these colors were so, so perfect. It was the yellow, the blue, and then that hot like pink color. So um, it was kind of red, but you can't tell really. So it came out so cool though. I'm so happy that I switched the photo and switched everything out. And I'm so glad that I was able to use this photo because I wasn't quite sure what to do with this photo because it was so cute. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys like it. Um, this is all I do. Um, I didn't like want to do splatters. I didn't want to come up with anything else. I thought that was enough with the the paint and the <laughs> the messy look like that so I mean theirs looks more perfect mine looks more messy let's face it but that's okay because it's my mess and I like it right it's all what you like so and I think the photo just went so well with it so I hope you guys like it I did switch these out because I realized I had two blue ones in a row and I didn't want to have them like that so I just switched these up and I think that's it. I'm trying to think. Yep, that's it. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to check out the other ladies. I will have all their links down below. And also don't forget to check out our Facebook group. I'm going to have that link down below as well. You can join our Facebook group. You can show us your creations with your mixed media and what you're doing. And we also do once a month, we do a hop. So you can do that with us and play along if you'd like. And that's it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Just hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I love that photo. Okay, guys, I want to thanks for watching and remember, stay crafty. Bye.